Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, comments, and views. Please remember there's no way this can connect to every single viewer out there. So take what you can use and leave what does not connect. And feel free to vice versa, king and queen on the cards to match you. So the first card that comes out is dragon. Very powerful. I'm going to read it, but this is a good card. Um, I've read a lot of books, I, I say this, but I have read that all Chinese parents want a child that is born in the year of the dragon because they feel that that child will be successful. That is a master number up there, 22. But they feel like if they have one child that is born in the year of the dragon, that that child will be more successful than them and their other children. So, an incredibly powerful card, the dragon symbol is strongly associated with success and victory. Ambitions will be satisfied as a new optimistic attitude manifests amazing opportunities. The power of the dragon surrounds you and you will move forward in leaps and bounds. There is literally no stopping you. Really, it's a really good card. It talks about success. It's all about success. If you act with integrity and honesty, you will... Um, you will get fortune. If you work, if you act with dishonor and dishonesty, you will face the wrath of the dragon, who may quickly and suddenly reverse their fortunes. So, singles could meet rich, dynamic partner, as your aura will attract a lot of lovers your way. Beautiful. So, let's go um, to the divine animal oracle. So, the first one is peregrine falcon observation. So you are focusing on something very tremendously. So that would be seven. I'm big on numbers. I always break the numbers down to a whole number if possible. Um, so 25 would be seven for me, and of course 22 would be four. But you do, you are focusing on something, and I do see there may be a past life connection with whatever this is you're focusing on. You may not realize it, but there probably is a past life connection to this. The light is really strong on something that is focusing on your higher good. The next one is snake, which is um, creation. So we see the acorn in there. This is seven as well. So you have seven and seven, two numbers, very powerful. Shoot, and I forgot to write what other number had, 888. But anyway, um, this talks about you have an idea. You're creating something with this acorn. You have your tree of life there. You have the gold right here surrounding your tree of life. So it also has the snake. So the snake could say that you snakes shed their skin. And they're really dull before they shed their skin. And then they become really, really beautiful. So it could be saying that you, when you shed something, your life will be more beautiful. When you release something that's making your life not pretty or it could talk about um, releasing other people are trying to cause problems for you so the next one for you is strategy how beautiful is that so you have a strategy for your creation you also have a strategy for keeping the snakes at bay for keeping the people who are trying to thwart your livelihood or your plans so let's go ahead and pull the mystical cat's tail deck and the first one for you is Earth Kitten. So Earth Kitten talks about the universe sending something in to help you, something new. Then we have the cat. The cat is taking a leap of faith, doing something new you've never done before. And then the next one is Four of Sky. So Four of Sky is healing from something. This is something that you needed to heal from. So the next one is Eight of Fire. So Eight of Fire talks about somebody blaming you. So somebody tried to blame you for something. I do feel like there was three people involved in this. We have the Lover's card, which could mean it could have been a lover. Gemini placement. And then we have the Moon. The Moon is Pisces placement for me, but this means you're healing from secrets. So somebody came in, blamed you. It could have been a lover who lied to you because the mushrooms on there and the moon always mean secrets. So I do feel like somebody came in and just um, lied. 
So the next one is Six of C. So this caused a lot of people to cry, not just you. Whatever they did caused many people to cry. So Six of Earth. Six of Earth to me is when somebody is manipulating you again. It looks like a nice card. Somebody's taking care of a mom and two cats. But on this card, the guest or the host of the house is licking the mom's head. And the cats, the kittens want to eat. So to me, this always makes me think there's somebody who's manipulating a mother with children. So be aware of that. And then Two of Sky. Two of Sky talks about looking to the past, looking at patterns um, that maybe you didn't see that were kept from you that you may see now after the fact. It could talk about past life, not past life, um, past history, family abuse patterns that you learned from your parents that you have brought into your adult life that you want to leave behind you. You feel like those may have brought you to what happened to you recently. So I do see um, we have friends around you, the friends card, and then we have Ace of Earth. Ace of Earth to me is manipulation, again lies. It could have been a family member that was lying to you. And then we have Three of Sky, which is friends that are um, involved in third-party situations. So friends that are not like you, I feel like you had a warning. You can't sleep about these friends. I feel like you feel like they've taken you off your path, but you can get back on your path. This might be kind of short because the battery looks like it is going to die. I don't understand why it can be full and sometimes it just goes real fast. So we have the Hermit, which is clarity to me. So there's something that is clear for you around friends. And then you have the Strength card. So the Strength could be Leo placement, Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands is somebody who's very happy. So maybe the mischievous friends came in, they saw you were happy and they didn't like that. So they tried to cause problems, tried to, um, yeah, cause problems for you. So the next one is death and it's upside down. So something was supposed to end, but it didn't end is what that says to me. Something is still going. So the next one is two of cups. So maybe it's a love that was supposed to end, but somebody is keeping it going. And the next one is the alchemist. So the alchemist is magic, manifesting. It could be you manifesting. It also could be your person manifesting or doing magic that they don't want to lose you. They don't want this to end. The next one is Princess of Swords. Princess of Swords tells me that you have your guard up. You have your walls up. You really don't want to talk to this person. You are honesty or nothing. Then we have the star. Look at this beautiful. So you're going to have a glow up. You're going to go where you're supposed to go. You're going to meet who you're supposed to meet. And the hangman upside down, which would mean there's no delay. Usually that means a delay, but things are happening quite fast. There is no delay for you. So let's pull the Dragon Wisdom. I apologize for this being short, but the battery is going to die. So the first one is love. Look at this beautiful. So you have love as your um, Divine Oracle, and you have the Dragon. So you have success and victory with all these cards. So whoever's trying to stop your success and victory, they're not going to be able to. The universe will use them. So silence. So you're being quiet about a love. You're being quiet about a blow up with your money or your job. What good things are coming to you, you're keeping on the down low. You're being secret about it. And there's a time frame. Some kind of time frame you're adhering to that you're excited about being secret. Revelation. Look at this. So very powerful reading. We have the dragon card, we have love, we have revelation. There's an observation, strategy, and creation. This is a very powerful reading. You have beautiful things coming to you. This is going to die. The battery's dead. Bless you, Aquarius.